नमस्कार आई एम सोमा सन रॉय एंड आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग द वेदर ड्यूरिंग द पास्ट वन वीक एज वेल एज आउटलुक फॉर द नेक्स्ट टू वीक्स टूडे इज नाइन्थ सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन इफ यू सी दर फॉर द लास्ट वीक फ्रॉम सेकेंड टू एथ सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन दर वॉज अ लो प्रेशर एरिया ओवर नॉर्थ वे ऑफ बेंगाल ऑन सिक्स सेप्टेम्बर बिफोर दैट दर वॉज अ साइक्लोनिक सर्कुलेशन ओवर द सेम रीजन विच लेटर फॉर्म अ लो प्रेशर एरिया एंड देन मूव ग्रेजुअली अक्रॉस सेंट्रल इंडिया remnant of the previous low pressure area also persisted so that particular system uh, stayed in sorry obi kami abar theke recording korchi namaskar i am soma senroy from india meteorological department and i will be discussing the weather during the past one week from 2nd to 8th september 2021 as well as outlook for the next two weeks if we consider the weather during the past one week you will recall in our previous map discussion we had discussed a low pressure that had formed over the indian region remnant of that low pressure area persists over the gujarat region during second to 6 september another fresh cyclonic circulation formed first over the bay of bengal which then intensified into a low pressure area it became a well marked low pressure area subsequently and again decayed uh, into a low pressure area and that system moved across central india so a combination of these two systems meant that central india and adjoining west peninsular india got uh, a lot of rainfall during the last one week there was also cyclonic circulation over northwest rajasthan during 3 to 7 september and that circulation interacted with the remnant of the low pressure area over gujarat and uh, there was a lot of rainfall over haryana too most days the monsoon trough was south of its normal position and the east west shear zone it was in the middle levels and it showed a very systematic gradual movement northwards because of all these phenomena if we see the rainfall realized to the left we see the satellite blended imagery and uh, we note that central india was more than active in terms of rainfall but the main rainfall zone if you see it is maturing over gujarat region if you see the observed rainfall uh this is the cloud picture this is the observed rainfall you will note that the first system if you see the remnant of the first system on second third fourth was over west india and the subsequent system then took over and as it moved across peninsula north peninsula of india it gave a good amount of rainfall over maharashtra telangana regions so associated with this uh, these two systems that is remnant of the previous low pressure system and the current low pressure system there was extremely heavy falls that is greater than 20.4 cm rainfall over konkan and goa on two days and telangana gujarat saurashtra kutch one day each very heavy rainfall if you see that was over coastal andhra pradesh telangana on four days coastal karnataka marathwada three days west madhya pradesh haryana odisha on two days and north indian himalayas himachal pradesh uttarakhand and again assam meghalaya uh, these also got very heavy rainfall that is 12 to 20 cm on one day each along with uh, east rajasthan and peninsular india 
heavy rainfall was more well distributed throughout the country. Uh, if you note, most parts of India had at least one day of heavy rainfall during this period. But the main rainfall was concentrated over the North Peninsular India. So if you see the rainfall that accumulated during the last one week, you will note that the rainfall was above normal over Gujarat and uh, entire peninsular India. The blue color indicates excess rainfall, large excess rainfall, whereas rainfall was generally below normal over the North Indian plains and the, uh, and the adjacent Himalayan region. If you see the season as a whole, the negative departures uh, have decreased and we will note that uh, the green color which indicates normal rainfall predominates over most parts of the country. And although Gujarat got excess rainfall this last one week, it nevertheless, in terms of distribution for the entire state, the rainfall was below normal, deficient. Similarly about Odisha, although Odisha got heavy rainfall, but still in, the, in terms of seasonal total, it could not make up for the deficiency for the state. This also indicates something that the heavy rainfall, very heavy rainfall episodes that happened were very isolated and there wasn't large scale distribution of this rainfall to be reflected in the total rainfall. So the, despite active monsoon like conditions prevalent throughout the country, in terms of rainfall, Northwest Indian rainfall was uh, generally close to zero, but slightly on the negative side. East and Northeast India was highly deficient. So was Central India, only South Peninsular India, like I said, because of the movement of the second low pressure system that formed during this week, as well as the static nature of the remnants of the previous low pressure system meant that Peninsular India got above normal rainfall. The season as a whole, if you see, the country has 7% departure in the negative direction. This is improved compared to last week, which was minus 9%, but the kind of active monsoon conditions we saw, the shear zone in the middle levels, the southward position of the monsoon trough, the consecutive low pressure areas is not reflected in the rainfall for the country. If you see the synoptic situations as on today, 9 September 2021, the low pressure system that we had just talked about has become less marked. The associated cyclonic circulation, however, still persists over West Madhya Pradesh. And this is also likely to move towards Gujarat, similar to the previous system, which has become, which is becoming gradually less marked. As this system is moving towards Gujarat, we are expecting that a fresh low pressure is likely to form over North and adjoining Central Bay of Bengal around 11 September 2021. This again is likely to become more marked during subsequent 48 hours and likely to again move across in a west northwesterly direction across Central India. So rainfall is likely to uh, in, uh, continue to be uh, higher than normal over central India and especially over Gujarat and adjacent West Peninsular India. If you see the forecast for issued today for the subsequent uh, seven days, you will see that the, in the mean sea level pressure charts, we are expecting a low pressure formation and its subsequent northwestward movement from 11th. The wind field also reveals that on from 11th or much before that a uh, shear zone like structure is likely to remain there which is likely to help the uh, rainfall to persist over this entire uh, peninsula and adjacent uh, central Indian region. 
if you see the weather warning, the weather warning, if you uh, clearly see, it is uh, the first part of the week, 9th, 10th, and also 11th. The remnant of this current low pressure system, which is currently over West Madhya Pradesh, is likely to give heavy to very heavy to extremely heavy rainfall uh, over uh, Gujarat and adjoining regions. Very heavy rainfall is more likely. This rainfall will gradually decrease and subsequently, as a fresh low pressure system forms over North Bay of Bengal, the rainfall is likely to increase over Odisha and adjoining East Central India. And you can see the rainfall belt gradually increasing again from day four, day five, that is 12th and 13th of September. Coming to extended range forecast, why did we not get so much rainfall? If you note during the last uh, few weeks, you will note that the Madden Julian oscillation continued to be in the first and second phase. So, and it was in a very weak mode. But if you see this week, it is in the third phase and likely to be in third and fourth phase. When the MGO is in third, fourth phases and with a high amplitude, it indicates very favorable conditions for active monsoon conditions to persist over Indian region. El Nino is also in a, uh, the IRI CPC forecast indicates that it is likely to be 0.5 or slightly less, minus 0.5 slightly less, which is uh, La Nina like conditions are, we are moving towards La Nina like conditions, which is also favorable for active conditions of southwest monsoon. However, please remember that we are in September, monsoon is in withdrawal phase, and prosecutorial transport of moisture is decreasing. If you see cyclogenesis, like I just talked to you about a low pressure is likely to form on 11th September and move across the Indian heartland over the central Indian region. But you see something that over peninsular India, there is that also has a 50 to 60 percent psychogenesis probability. So the subsequent week, we expect another low pressure to form over slightly southward location and also move across the central Indian region. So consecutive low pressure systems are forming and likely to move uh, on similar trajectories across North Peninsular India. This is reflected in the rainfall. In week one, we expect the rainfall to be about normal over central India and Northwest India and uh, East Central India with the maximum rainfall over Gujarat and also over Bay of Bengal. In week two, as the as the, this low pressure system that we are talking of moves away and a fresh is likely to form. So as that system moves, you note that central India is likely to continue to get above normal rainfall during week two. This is what is reflected here. That is active monsoon-like conditions will prevail East Peninsular India, Northeast India do not get rainfall, very high amounts of rainfall during active monsoon conditions. This is likely to be the situation during week one. And during week two, deficient rainfall activity over East Peninsular India and rest of India is likely to receive near normal rainfall. And only above rain, normal rainfall will be over West, Northwest, Central, East Central and West Peninsular India. However, please remember monsoon is in withdrawal phase. So this is not likely to be reflected very much in the entire country's rainfall accumulation. That is all for this week. Thank you. Have a good week ahead.